Dear friends, thank you for allowing me to reappear here in Strasbourg at this very important seminar. During my three years in Brussels as an MEP ending only this summer, I had the opportunity to work with the single seat issue that really came alive during this time. There's a strong urge within the European Parliament to claim power to decide where it convenes, and this momentum should not be lost. Personally, I remember especially our work within the Liberal group where we almost unanimously decided to stand behind the single seat issue when we looked at the next multi-annual financial framework. This idea also came to be the official line of the European Parliament in many important roll call votes where the Parliament and the members of the House clearly expressed their view that the Parliament should have only one seat. However, now I believe there's time to take the single seat issue to another level. The European Parliament has the right to take initiatives to the treaty. I know my country wouldn't object, and many other countries in the Council would applaud if such a sober initiative would come from the European Parliament. After all, we're living in times of austerity, where taxpayers' money should be saved where possible. This is a very good way to save taxpayers' money. Dear friends, nobody wants to diminish the symbolic value which Strasbourg carries from the hard-earned peace in Europe. Believe me, as a Minister of Defence in Finland, I have the greatest respect for the lessons of the past. But symbolism must not be allowed to stand in the way of common sense. And common sense does put the European Parliament in the single seat in Brussels. Thank you very much. I hope you will have a very fruitful seminar.